NRL and Queensland fans were shocked when the Knights named fullback Kalen Ponga for an early return against the Raiders. Even coach Billy Slater was shocked and this has parked debate about whether he should consider him for the decider at Suncorp. Ponga has been out since round 7 with a fractured foot. Reports initially suggested a round 19 or 20 return for the Knights. However, NRL and Maroons fans will see the Dally M winner return earlier and try to convince Billy that he's ready for a comeback. Ponga's return is just before Maroons coach Billy Slater announces his team for State of Origin Game 3. With Reese Walsh criticized for Game 2, fans wonder if Ponga could join the Maroons 17. Ponga was in top form before his injury and ended 2023 as the league's best player. His ability to play fullback, halves, or backline makes him a dynamic choice that Queensland can rely on in case of an injury. Selwyn Cabo could have returned to the bench alongside Ben Hunt, but will likely start after Xavier Coates' hamstring injury. Not only his performance but Coach Slater's decision will be influenced by a photo of Walsh's injured hand after Game 2. Brisbane Broncos coach Kevin Walters rested his origin stars in their loss to the Warriors, drawing backlash. However, resting Walsh might have been due to a hand injury from his origin performance in Melbourne. NRL physio Brian Sini revealed Reese Walsh had a hand injury in the Maroons' loss in Game 2 stating, Walsh had scans last week after it swelled post-origin 2. Scans showed no major issue, so Walsh should be available. However, given how heavily criticized Walsh has been by fans and the media, it's no guarantee that Billy will stick with him in Game 3 and might be tempted to bring in Ponga. If so, then why should Kalen Ponga be selected over Reese Walsh? Number 1. Ponga is often regarded as a superior player to Walsh due to his exceptional versatility and consistency on the field. Ponga's ability to play multiple positions with equal proficiency whether at fullback, 5'8", or in the center sets him apart. Number 2. Ponga's vision, game awareness, and decision-making are unmatched, allowing him to create scoring opportunities out of seemingly impossible situations. Ponga's footwork, agility, and acceleration make him a constant threat to defenses. Number 3. Kalen Ponga's defensive skills and reliability under the high ball adds to his all-round game. Additionally, Ponga's experience at the representative level showcases his ability to perform under pressure and against the best in the NRL. These attributes combine to make Kalen Ponga not just a standout player, but a game-changer who can influence the outcome of any match. His skill set and experience give him an edge over many competitors, including Reese Walsh. In my opinion, Kalen Ponga should be on the bench in Game 3 and Hamaso Tabuai Fito should be the fullback. Those changes will give the Maroons enough firepower and versatility to match the New South Wales Blues squad that humiliated them in Game 2. Let me know your thoughts about Ponga's return in the comments. Should coach Billy Slater roll the dice and bring him into camp? Please state your reasons in the comments and give your predicted Game 3 lineup. Don't forget to support the channel by smashing the like button and subscribing for more of your daily dose of rugby league. Thank you.